Okie dokie. Uh, okay, this is a SOG unit. Um, it's not been installed yet, you can see it's in pieces over here. So the idea of this is it connects to a, um, a camper van or a, uh, a caravan chemical um, toilet cassette and it saves you using chemicals. So what it does is, uh, let's, see, let's put the box down, it has a fan here uh, that vents outside the door and through that pipe it pulls air through so when you open the, um, the sliding um, door on the inside of the, uh, the toilet to let the waste into the tank uh, it starts this pump running the pump pulls air from inside the cassette and through from the inside of the caravan um, or the motorhome uh, and it pulls oxygen into the tank which helps the microbes digest what's in there uh, and it also takes the smell and pumps it outside um, so what you do is, he says, I've never done this before, so this bit here goes on the outside of the van. So that is the cover for it. It goes on the outside of the door. Then there's a charcoal filter that goes in there to try and get rid of some of the whiff. Uh, and then that bit there screws onto the outside of the van uh, and you make a hole in the door for uh, the air to come out through there. So I've just put that back together, 100. Okay, yeah, so that bit screws on the bit of silicon behind it to the outside of the door. And then what you have is that's the pump. Uh, so that goes uh, into the door. You have to do a driller for this one, a 36 millimeter hole into the door, um, and connect it up to your electricity supply. And then when the uh, the slider is open, uh, that pump will pull the air through. It pulls it through this pipe, which is connected to your cassette um, for this one using this, this connector here uh, and that's it really so uh, there's some instructions that come with it um, which look to be half decent so let's have a quick look at those so you can see they've got little pictures and then in numerous languages they've got how to do the installation um, so I'm going to have a crack at that in a couple of days and I'll film that as I do it uh, then there's some instructions on how to use it once it's been installed uh, and then there's a couple of bags of bits and bobs. So this one here is a bracket that goes inside where the, um, the cassette is. It's got a little tiny micro switch on it just here. So that's the thing that detects whether the, uh, the, the loo is open or not. So you have to get that in the right position um, and glue and, and then there's a little uh, hole for you to pop a rivet in to hold it in place. Uh, so we'll see how interesting that is. And then the cable for that goes through next to the electricity supply and to uh, the pump somehow so we're going to have a go with that and then you get another bag of bits so it looks like it's got a couple of vampire connectors so you can connect the um, uh, these connections to uh, the electrical connections already inside where the uh, the um, loo is without actually having to cut them you just clamp those over so I'm going to have a quick look at that. There's not much in the instructions about how you do that bit actually, so I'm going to have to uh, do a bit of reading up. Various screws for screwing the that bit, um, the cover to the outside, and for screwing the uh, uh, the pump to the inside. And then you've got some. There's some cable ties and these little plastic things here. Oh, I've got to stick them back on so you can stick them to the inside of the loo and then use the cable ties to tie the. Uh, um, cabling in place keep it all nice and tidy that's a cap um, that goes on to uh, I think it goes on to there so when you take the uh, the chemical loo out to go and empty it you can cap it off using that so you haven't got any nasty whiff coming out of that bit um, mm -mm -mm, that is about it I think so, so there, there you go, yeah. So one last thing, uh, if you're going to buy one of these, we got this one um, second hand from a chap who bought it, it didn't actually fit his uh, van. You need to be careful that you get the right one. Um, so this one's for a Thetford C200 cassette. Make sure you get the one for the right cassette, it's not going to fit. So hopefully we've got the right one. Um, we've had a look at the uh, cassette and it's got this number on the, right on the bottom of it. Um, and then these bits are talking about what um, colour this is. So you can see this one is a... Uh, a white one, a white housing. So that looks like it's the right one. So there you go, the uh, SOG um, uh, chemical loo non chemical uh, solution um, in pieces. So uh, 
next job is to try and fit it to the van. Wish me luck.